Our software products and platforms continue to operate behind the scenes in connection with some of the most significant events around the world, including the distribution of vaccines to millions and an ongoing war in Eastern Europe. We just launched an experimental feature that leverages OpenAI's GPT-3 to turn natural human language into pipeline logic. A sentence like, find me all the hospitals that have limited ICU bed availability in the next three weeks is transformed into a pipeline in seconds, a new standard in no code. Turning to Gotham, urgent operational needs are driving innovation in our integrated hardware software offerings, building on products like Titan. SkyKit will combine Palantir's Meta Constellation software on a small human portable form factor with Starlink comms to enable heroes in the field to task low latency AI-driven satellite collection. Christopher asks, can you explain to Palantir shareholders what becoming the sixth prime for the US government and the first software prime would mean for the company? Also, what sort of timeline are you targeting to become the first software prime of the U.S. government? Thanks, Christopher. Our ambition in the U.S. government and by extension all of government is to be the sixth prime contractor. And that that means that we're the trusted partner capable of delivering end-to-end platforms and programs that, that we're willing to invest deeply in the specific needs and requirements for these customers. But we just want to do this as the first software prime, and we already are. The way that we think about our products in government is as offerings that are built with our platforms. They're built with Gotham, with Foundry and Apollo. The products would be, for example, at the U.S. Army, Vantage, Titan, CD1, CD2, massive programs of record, or Operation Warp Speed's Tiberius. That's their vaccine management platform that was built with Foundry. Decipher at the CDC, Project Brown Heron at the Air Force, Warp Core at the Space Force. At Indopaycom, it's the mission partner environment. Titan will deliver a next-generation, expeditionary, scalable, and maneuverable platform that is purpose-built to address the Army's number one gap in large-scale combat operations, deep sensing. In simpler terms, it's an armored truck that connects to satellites and theater assets, and we are offering an end-to-end integrated hardware-software solution here. This is exactly what we're doing with SkyKit, fusing Meta Constellation, Starlink, a purpose-built compute platform to enable warfighters to task satellites from the field and receive low-latency AI-driven detections to drive kinetic operations.